Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, the one Lord, the one King, the one Savior, Jesus Christ. Ladies and gentlemen, apparently, we're going to have more discussions with Mr. Islam Defender Yahya. And hopefully those discussions will be about him teaching us Islam and answering questions in reference to Islam and Quran and once we get satisfying answers I guess we should allow him to ask about the Bible and Christianity but before we go further Islam defender Yahya apologizing to me and brother Jay on Skype in text does not prove anything. You don't owe me an apology. You owe your Islam, the apology. You owe your Muhammad, the apology. Oh, sorry. I was mistaken there. You actually owe your parents the apology. Because like I told you, I'm pretty much sure your parents did not teach you that filth that came out of your mouth. So it will be appreciated if you can make a public video apologizing for us about what you did in text. At the same time, Apologize for your parents that I'm pretty much positive they taught you better than what you presented yourself to be. You don't have to, to apologize to Islam. You don't have to apologize to Quran. And you don't have to apologize to Muhammad. Because what you did is what those three taught you. So, apologizing in the hide is not going to be accepted by anybody. 
And with all and great respect to Sister Hatun, when you lied to her and she asked you to, to apologize, you said you're not going to apologize. Well, I'm not that much peaceful. You admitted you were wrong. So be a man, have a public video apologizing to what you did and apologize that you as a Muslim want to be defender of Islam and the truth of Islam. Apologize from attacking the Bible insulting the Bible, attacking Christianity, and insulting Christians. Are you that big of a man to do that? So let's see your honesty, Mr. Islam Defender. Because your text and what you said to us in text will be public record, will be, will be posted on YouTube. Apologizing, but that's not going to be accepted. that is not going to be accepted as an apology. For your apology to be accepted, you need to make it public. Because you did not just insult the two of us. I questioned you about Islam. I questioned you about Quran. I did not insult you. But I have no problem doing so if that's what you live for or that's what you live by. I can dance with any song you play. And hopefully I would see a video of apology coming from you within the coming couple of days. So we can make move forward and hopefully, hopefully we can have a mature discussion based upon facts, evidence and truth. From you as a Muslim, to teach me about Islam. Again, by answering my questions with answers, I cannot present you with opposite to them, refute you on them, or question you on them. You're a grown man. You're not an animal and you're not a child. Present yourself as such. The second part, I don't know who you are, A. A. Abram. You are the deceiver who tried to deceive people by you are a Jewish Muslim or Muslim Jewish or Jew, or whatever you want to call yourself. I don't mind comments. I might respond to them. I might ignore them. And I might block the person 
who becomes annoying. But before I do that, I like to give the person a chance. So, and by the way, uh, I appreciate your words in the, in the comments. Again, another Muslim who is following the teaching of Islam and the Quran with his foul toilet mouth. When you don't have anything intelligent to say, you don't have any factual proof to present, we run to the filth. Like filth is going to prove me wrong and prove yourself to be correct. So Mr. A. A. Abram, be a man, take my challenge, and shut me up. That's the only thing I ask from a Muslim. What is so hard about that? Why am I scaring you guys? All I ask is answer my questions that I, I, I don't have to refute your answer or even question your answer. Answer me with proof and facts. In an academic way. So, Mr. Islam Defender, going back to you, I'm fine if you bring other Muslims that you think they know more than you. You are part of the same group as C. Dawa. In Speaker's Corner, you stand next to Rashid and Mansoor, and pretty much sure. You talk to them as well. You know them in person. Why can't you invite them and show power and strength in unity? The three of you against me. Is that so hard to ask? Is that so scary to ask? I ask and you answer. Simple. Questions and answers. So what is so hard about that? I mean, wh why is it so scary? And I finish with this. Islam defender Yahya. Be a man. Go in public. And apologize. Not hiding in text. A. A. Abram. Unless if you are half brain, Aura Muslima, and if you can't put adult mature comments, I'm not scared from you. I'm calling you out. But I'm sorry, I have to block you. Because the filth, I can accept that to a certain limit. And again, you're another Muslim that is showing us not the teaching of your parents, because I'm sure your parents were respectful. You're showing us the teachings of your Islam, Quran, and your Muhammad. Last but not least, may Isa of the Quran 
guide you and show you the right path. Because Isa in your Quran is the Allah of Islam. Sadaqallahu al-Azim. 